The Smite content creator cup is heating up as one by one qualifiers to the final stage of the tournament make their last stand on the battlefield. In a thrilling best of three grand finals, Team Rudy laid down the hammer to defeat Team Karstik in their campaign for the NA LAN top position, claiming the 27 minute tie breaking third game with a massive 13k gold lead. Team Rudy's marvel in the mid lane, Valo put fear in the Team Karstik squad with Scylla racking up 11 kills on the high pressuring mage. Coming to the aid of their master, Sikkim commanded two hounds to dash into combat. This damaged, snared and crippled the first enemy they hit. At max rank, two additional enemies were hit by these savage beasts. The attack was made even easier to land with her crush ability, a magical field that slowed nearby enemies, then detonated for massive damage. Sentinel enabled Valo to teleport to a distant location, providing a clean getaway or a speedy chase down. With a map full of monsters, Scylla herself became one with the use of her ultimate ability. The goddess was imbued with crowd control immunity and gained increased movement speed. In this monstrous form, she was granted one powerful attack. When it killed an enemy god, she gained another charge, often continuing the vicious cycle when a team fight broke out. Galloping into combat with bow in hand, Rudy himself took aim at the enemy with the great teacher Chiron, ending game one with a well played 10 elimination and 14 assist result. Through basic attacks or other abilities, Rudy reduced his target's physical protections by a small percentage through masterful shot. When activated, it fired seeking arrows at all his marked targets to slow and damage them. Giddy up put Rudy into a prime position. Chiron galloped his way into the fray, kicking enemies and minions while using his bow to collect kills. When it came to supporting his crew, Rudy popped training exercise to offer them a blink of crowd control immunity. Enemies in the ability's AOE were hit with a blast of physical damage and were marked. The heart of the hunter truly came alive when Chiron's ultimate, Centaurus, was activated. The god transferred into a living constellation, firing off three long-distance shots. Should Chiron fall during this phase, he could be returned to life after finding an elimination, with health equal to the damage he dealt with the Constellation arrows. Valo came out a shining star in the third game of the Grand Final, hitting the war zone with the Howler Monkey God Hoonbats as he scored an incredible 11 eliminations and assists to round out the LAN. Right now. Between Hoonbats' somersault and overhand smash abilities, this assassin god was able to deal a substantial amount of physical damage to those around him. Additionally, somersault slowed affected enemies, making it harder for them to attempt an escape. Naturally, a monkey god is nothing without his faithful servants. Sacred Monkey casted a monkey into the air that pounced onto four targets, dealing damage along the way. Valo could then teleport to the last enemy hit, continuing his god's rampage. Controlling the area of a team fight was made that much simpler with Fear No Evil, a totem that forced enemy players to lose control of their gods moving them away from its epicenter while ticking them for damage over time. These three highly feared gods helped Team Rudy take the top spot at the North American qualifiers and can help you smash towers and claim titans in the game of Smite. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the amazing esport content from around the gaming globe.
only on Unbeaten Esports.